hello guys welcome back uh, to my channel learn in a nutshell uh, it's been a while that i haven't uploaded any video here uh, um, but when i saw today i see a lot of likes and you know comments so that has been pouring in now uh, you know from different uh, people out there uh, thanks for all the support guys i hope you'll all support me in the future as well i thought i'll just continue with this uh, uh, commerce tool stuff which i was doing earlier so today i've come up with um, on how to import the you know postman collections and start using or consuming those apis which they are providing starting with you just open a postman in your web or if you have the app you can open that uh, then we'll have to download the postman collections you'll have to either uh, you can directly search for postman collections you can uh, open the github and uh, download or else you can also get the link from the doc file or else from the impex tool if you click on this learn more about new postman collections it will take you to that uh, same uh, same uh, path github path so what you have to do here is i'll have to just go and click on download zip so once zip has been downloaded just extract the zip file so once that has been extracted you will get all these folders you'll have to go to the postman and click on import click on upload go to downloads go to that particular folder uh, as of now we'll just upload the api and the template you need the collection as well as the template i'll just say you what is what those are so then click on import it will take some time to import you know once that is imported i've again created a new account because you know that other one who had expired uh, because i had not used it for more than 60 days uh sorry 60 days the trial period so that was already expired so yeah so basically what you'll have to do is um, meanwhile i'll just import the sunrise data so yeah guys uh, the um the postman collections for the api has been imported successfully you can see the environment as well as the collections here so first thing what you'll have to do is uh, i had downloaded the env file already so i'll just copy the contents and uh, replace it there first is a secret so go to and uh, change your client secret current value and then copy the client id and then you can copy the urls the api and the auth url the first is the auth url so you'll have to replace it here next is the api you can just replace it here and dismiss this one and you can just save this so once this is saved uh, you can go to collections go to authorization select that environment and then go to obtain access token and click on send as soon as you send it access token will be generated and this test will uh, you know store all the project key 
CTP access token after extracting from this particular JSON and store it in the environment variable. Now, if you see in the environment variable, you should be seeing all the new values being added here, like the project token, uh, I mean the access token and the project key has been added there. So now you can, you know, uh, run the product, I mean the product uh, query query the all the products so you can go to query products and click on send so you will be re receiving all the tw uh, all the products but uh, limit will be 20 products I guess maximum of 500 products you can limit at a time uh, so due to you know uh, time it takes a lot of time because of all this you know large data being queried so limit is 20 and um, there are totally 2703 products and uh, you can play around with all these parameters and you know and um, get the content i mean get the response uh, 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 the way you need so the next thing the same thing if you want to go to you can if you want to create a customer go to customer uh, go to create customer go to body they have already given a basic you know body request you can have to just replace the content so i'll just give learn in a nutshell at gmail.com learn in a nutshell yt let me keep the secret 123 as a password and click on send and it should create the you no know, you that particular user now you can go to merchant center and cross verify if you want go to customer list and you should see law in a nutshell uh, coming up here uh, same thing uh, you can do it for all uh, for example if you want carts you can go to carts create a cart the body the basic uh, required field is the currency uh, i'll just keep the default value euro and click on send and uh, you know a response you'll get a response and it will be deleted after 90 days um, by default it will set the value as 90 days so yeah and now you can go and uh, you know start playing around with this like by adding uh, a line item or anything you know and uh, start a uh, create a order with that I will I will uh, go I will I'll show you how to create a cart and order uh, using this postman collection in the next video uh, so next thing um, so this is how no this is how you can now uh, you can just go around and you know start playing around with all the APIs and the bodies uh, body requests which they have given for all the all the APIs here they have given the body requests you can start playing around you can uh, look into the uh, docs you can also ask in if you have if you have any queries you can ask in the question uh, in the comment section also uh, i will surely you know reply to those questions so um, that's all in this video guys um, uh, i will uh, soon post other video as well uh, as uh, related to this postman collection i will very soon post about that and uh, please do subscribe you know if you like the video hit the like button and uh, do share with your friends if they are also you know uh, learning commerce tools so that's all about uh, you know how to import postman collections uh, so you can start playing around and you know start creating doubts so that's all guys see you all in the next video bye